Hi, so we've repackaged our ink, uh, and here it is, we started putting it into tins. We were sending it out in plastic, and we thought, well, that's not really very good, is it? So we put it into the tins, because the tins are um, easy to recycle. The recycling is already there. It's metal, so it's easy to separate, it's easy to clean, and then it's reused readily. So we put it into the tins, because we thought that was much more environmentally friendly. Now, the ink is a graphene ink. It's one of the most conductive inks out there. It turns out it's about 0.8 of an ohm per square per mil. So that's actually a very impressive figure. So it's a really very conductive, and it's also one of the cheapest old carbon inks that there is out there. And if I open that up, it's a beautiful ink. Or at least I think it's a beautiful ink. Now, it does settle a little bit, so you do need to stir it. And you stir, don't shake. So give it a stir, and that will get the thing mixed up quite nicely again. And because it's a conductive ink, of course, you can do a hundred things with it. And one of the things that I'm going to do is cut a piece of plastic. Now, I've chosen perhaps one of the most difficult pieces of plastic to cut, and that is this stuff here. This is polyethylene. It's a sheet of polyethylene. And it's notorious for not being able to cut it with anything. Now, it isn't that difficult to cut with our ink. What you've got to do first is clean the surface. It's just been kicking around and it's been handled and is without a doubt covered in dirt and grease. So a little bit of isopropanol alcohol and give it a good clean is the first step to applying this ink to a plastic surface. Now basically, if it'll go on to polyethylene, it'll go on to anything. There we go, a nice clean bit of a polyethylene surface. Now, it won't quite just paint on, it kind of beads up first. So what you need to do is prime the surface. And priming the surface turns out to be really quite easy. You just take a bit of the ink, you don't need that much, and rub it onto the surface. Now, I'm not quite sure what's happening. But I think one of the things that's happening is the graphene in the ink is actually sticking to the surface and acting like a primer. So give that a good rub over with the graphene ink. And I think that the graphene in the ink sticks to the surface. Now you only have to do this with polyethylene. With the other uh, plastics, it will actually just go straight on. But polyethylene needs a bit of a primer, otherwise nothing is going to stick to it. So after you've primed that surface, it's now ready to paint, and it paints directly on there. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. If you don't clean the surface and you don't prime it properly, what happens is it shrinks back up and it won't hold onto the surface. And once that's been painted, set it to one side and dry it, and what you'll get is this. And that is a piece of graphene coated conductive ink coated polyethylene. Now, that is really quite awesome all by itself, but so what? Well, you could use that as EM shielding. Obviously, you can apply it to plastic cases, so those cases could be EM shielded, but you can also electroplate it once you get a conductive surface on it. And here I've got a bit in an electroplating solution. The electroplating solution we're using actually is our universal electroplating solution, this stuff, uh, and this will plate a lot of different materials onto other materials. So it will plate copper onto um, loads of surfaces, <coughs> and I'm using the copper here, but it will also plate other metals. Now to be honest, I don't know what it will do, because I've only tried a few things. So it will plate nickel, it will plate copper, it will plate zinc, It'll plate those onto nickel, copper, and zinc, or plate copper onto other surfaces like conductive carbon. So it's pretty awesome stuff, really. And I've had this in here at 5 volts and 20 milliamps for about an hour. And already you can see 
there is a beautiful copper coat forming. I'm going to give you a close up of that. So there it is. That is the copper coated plastic strip after 30 minutes in at 5 volts in our universal plating solution. And underneath there, there we go. That is the conductive ink painted polyethylene. So there we go, our graphene based ink used to paint a piece of uh, impossible to paint plastic and then electroplating that in copper. Now, the ink is a mixture between graphite and graphene. We could have made it all from graphene, but it would have been stupid money. Uh, something like a thousand pounds a litre or something, just ridiculous. So we mixed in the graphite so that we could keep that price down. So it's an exceptionally well priced and it's an exceptional conductivity, 0.8 ohms per square per mil. Um, is really quite exceptional. Uh, you'll find it for sale in the shop if you want to buy some. And I will be doing more videos on how to use this uh, conductive ink, obviously. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching.